This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, beginning at verse um, 1. And it reads, And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Verse 2, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, and shall not be thrown down. Verse 3, And he, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Verse 4, And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8, All these are the beginning of sorrows. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyam, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachach, Kudosh, Kudosh, I will honor to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom on to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom on to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations from whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. On. So, brother, y'all was up out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit, through the power of the most high you how about Shimei Shai. Um I came across this article and now that I think about it, the brother um the Cora Moth did a video based on this. Um you know um talks about uh Matthew twenty four goes into Yahweh Shah was basically um explaining to the disciples um before the end how the world will be, you know, um and the things that was named we're seeing right now wars and rumors of wars. You got America bumping heads with um, Moab or China, um, and, then, and bumping heads with um, Russia as well, which both uh, nations are mentioned in the kingdom. So it's talking about kingdoms against kingdoms. Uh, you know, you're hearing about famines that's um, basically they're talking about could soon be taking place soon. Um, pestilences, of course, you got all these different, um, you know, um, V's, you know, so you know, all these things are taking place, and um, at the end of the day, it says these are the beginning of sorrows, and we got more sorrows because of the fact, you know, with the money being messed up because of the inflation, you're gonna have people struggling, you know. And this article goes into how people are behind on their utility bills, and it, you know, people are gonna come to the realization that these, you know, this, um, you know, American, um, the way of thinking, you're gonna see that it, it, it necessarily it doesn't, you know, these people don't, don't have your interest in mind. You, you know, um, you know, at one point in time, you're gonna have people basically be put in the situations they're not gonna be able to afford their utilities. And you know, you got a, a movement going on over in the UK where you got these individuals talking about they're, they're gonna basically just strike to not pay their um, utility bills, but you think that the, um, you, you think that they're gonna just allow them to have power? No, if you, you know, so this is going to be interesting, you know, because that's going to lead, you know, to death and death is going to lead to, you know, these people, you know, uproar, you know, so it's going to lead to sedition because they're going to ask for the, the, the government to jump in um, or step in to, you know, basically try and de deal with the situation and their only solution would be to print more money. <laughs> Part of the reason why we're in this situation anyway. So it reads, over 20 million households risk losing utilities. Now that was, like I said, the, the, I forgot what it's called, but what's going on in the UK because of Russia, and, you know, um, you know, or whatnot, you know, not supplying everybody with the natural gas over there in, in the UK. Well, um, or basically he's saying, um, Putin is saying that you got to pay for them in Russian rubles. Um, that's going to affect these people in, during the winter. And that's why... <laughs> through the spirit, this is probably be really a dark winter. It's gonna affect us because I know last winter affected us. I mean, you know, I had a um, not to digress, but you know, I I I got put on a payment plan with my my um 
my 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 my, my heating um service and I'm still like in the rears. Well, you know, uh, and it's, it's just deep, you know. So it reads: the rising cost of living and the impact of inflation have left millions of households across the U.S. with outstanding utility bills. An issue that can get worse with power shutoffs on the horizon and cooler weather looming. The National Energy Assistance Director Association, Directors Association, which collects national data on energy assistance programs, says one in six or more than 20 million households are behind on their power bills. A primary source behind the utility debt is a surge in energy prices. Natural gas prices have jumped since Russia invaded Ukraine in February. The cost of natural gas is up 30.5% year over year in July, according to the U.S. Labor Department. The average rate for electricity was up about 15% in July, the largest increase since 2006. Across the country, millions more are over 60 days behind and in danger of losing their services as the bills, bills come and due. And Mark, on top of the fact you got a lot of these companies that's laying people off. You know, it was a video I saw on YouTube where, uh, I forgot the name of the dude's channel, but literally um, it was showing how, like, basically people were sitting down for, I guess, an orientation. But uh, in the middle of the orientation, they told them that basically their job was phased out. So these people, yeah, and that's cold, you know. And then you go see that cold demeanor with, you know, um, in regards to how these people are going to react because they're not going to care that you can't afford to pay your bill they're not you know the first thing they say is they go yeah go call 211 for help <laughs> you know it made me think of a scripture this is matthew 24 skipping down to verse 13 because it's like it um matthew 24 and verse 12 and because iniquity shall abound iniquity meaning the sin upon sin the love of many shall wax cold you know um because of so much sin going on people are going to really not you know, they're going to be cold to one another cold to their neighbor cold to these children you know it's a precept that go to that because um, when it comes times um, like 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 um, a few brothers and elders and whatnot and what's that Gerald Salente makes that statement when people lose everything they lose it when they have nothing else to lose roughly paraphrased they lose it so you know it's going to be a, a, a cold, cold world. And you're about to see, I mean, of course, violence has already increased. I've, I've watched the, um, our state basically allow you to carry, um, like at one point in the time, I don't think you could um, carry certain a knife a certain length and whatnot, but the governor here has basically changed the rules of that, you know, um, and signed um, legislation to allow people, I think it's a, you know, you don't have to um, basically have a CCW anymore. You could just open carry well you could always open carry in ohio but now is you don't even have to have the ccw so <clears throat> these people are already aware of what's about to take place um uh, reads uh in march the office of the new york comptroller said one in eight new yorkers hadn't paid their utility bills that's 1.2 million people owing a combined 1.8 billion to utilities and since then not much has improved in New Orleans, some residents carry four-figure utility bills. God damn. In the thousands. On Saturday, New Energy New Orleans hosted its first energy fair to learn more about payment options, energy efficient education, electrical vehicles, and hurricane preparedness. And that's spiritual, too, because watch how they're doing it. They're using the, 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 the energy, um, using the, uh, trying to use the, the scapegoat of, the, you know, you know the cost of energy and that's going to um, basically go into those electric cars and all that too uh, they, that is going to give them an excuse to try to roll out them electric cars um, there's great opportunity providing that we have the money to go ahead and assist our residents in Indiana Duke Energy the state's largest power provider is considering a 7% price hike or $11 more on each bill starting in October utility companies blame inflation, inflation and the high cost of natural gas for inflated prices this is a temporary rate increase. Again, fuel cost fluctuates, said Angeline Port Chigir, a Duke Energy spokesperson. With pandemic utility moratoriums expiring, power companies are preparing for shutoffs. Meanwhile, it could be a long, cold winter for many families. And that's how they're going to sweat. They're not going to, you know, they say, get here. The love of many shall wax cold. These people, and you know, uh, uh, the average American's mindset is if it ain't affecting them, you know. They don't really give a fuck. You see that all the time with these different countries. Now, you'll get certain people that have a given nature, and the Lord put the spirit on people to give. But as things dwindle down 
and you know it's hard resources get harder to get people are gonna be like fuck you and yours and it's all about me and mine they showed you that during the lockdown when people went and bought up all the tissue and bought up all the meat and the bread and it's gonna come into where they're gonna have to ration so um i'm gonna get some scripture because at the end of the day this is all prophesied in the scriptures you know um it's the book of ezekiel chapter seven and uh I'm going to um, start at verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon... I'm going to start at verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Also thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, unto the land of Israel, and the, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eyes, and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee. And that's spiritual, because the Lord ain't going to have pity on two-thirds of his own people. That's what's talking about the day of Jacob's trouble, you know, but also uh, he's heathen or anybody, you know, because, you know, the scripture's talking about um, the love of many wax and coal, you know, because the Lord is going to be in a cold spirit, you know. You, you got to understand, the Lord has... A smoke in his nostrils, you know, smoking his nose, you know what I mean? What's I think that's in um, Psalms chapter 18? You know, I mean, look at the, I mean, you know, these people literally is trying to pass the fact of allowing adults to lay with children. Just blatant pe uh, ped pedophilia and people not uh, saying or speaking nothing about it because, yeah, you know, people are just brain dead, you know, spiritually brain dead. You know, it says, um, upon thee and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, power and evil and only evil, behold, is come. And end is come, the end is come, and watch it for thee, behold, it is come. So we see in the end of this age, this, of this kingdom, you know, although these devils are trying to switch it over to another kind of system where they got complete control over everything, but, you know, scriptures tell you that that's not going to, um, come to pass believe the book of job chapter 5 as well as the book of job chapter 20 you know um you know well uh, but nonetheless you know it tells you in the scriptures that the deceived and the deceiver are both the most high so this devil is going you know thinking that you know the most high with him and these these left hand spirits you know they got it all figured out but in actuality this is set up for you know to 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 be brought to fortition to a degree but not to for him to literally like you know take over and, and rule humanity you know what i mean like uh got one last scripture this is the book of second ezra chapter five and uh And verse 9, and salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding draw itself into a secret chamber. So, uh, friends shall destroy one another because basically it, it talks about uh, in the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 19, um, the Egyptian shall be against the Egyptian. So, people, because of the lack of resources, because you know, because you got to under, understand, you know. Uh, pretty much everybody's living paycheck to paycheck you know um because this society has you believe that because you can you can have things that you truly can't afford you know what i mean they let you basically get things on cons not consignment but you know when when you have credit you can have something and not pay for it in full they'll you know they'll they'll trust you with putting it in your possession and your paying on it well when you got these energy bills and all these other things you know uh, you know, you're going to have to start making decisions on what is more important. Do you um, pay your car note or do you, you heat your house for your family? Do you, um, do you, do you, do you pay the light bill or do you buy groceries? You know, because right about now, everything is literally inflated. So that's how we know through the spirit that, you know, they already talking about sometime this, this month in the fall, we, we're coming into fall that literally, um, the um the food prices are, are, are about to um basically go up so you know at the end of the day when people have a harder time to live they 
or, or, or are struggling harder to live, crime goes up. So you think a person is really going to care about, like I said again, uh, you, you know, a two third nigga. I've, I've been around two third niggas that, yeah, I, I had to feed mine, so I'm robbing everything I see. <laughs> right. So, um, and shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon earth. And incontinency is basically a lack of self control. Uh, when you go into the definition, but um, it's, it's basically leads to lawlessness. You know, um, when people just are allowed to do as thou wilt, it's, it's no order. <laughs> it's, it's lawless. You know? You know, and, and again, people don't understand, you know, like, just imagine them Wild Wild West days. You know what I mean? Wild Wild West days, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, it's one thing to watch a movie, but when you take the time to understand that, that's when the, the 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 criminals was killing the law enforcement and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, we we heading into um, evil and only evil. <laughs> you know, evil meaning ill, or um, Eve meaning time, ill meaning bad, bad times. So if you're so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of your power, your how about Shemiah Shah, or you will be destroyed. With that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyam, La Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem, Rachakras Fakatam. Double honors to my apostles, the elders, the great millstone who teach and do who will. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwap and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. The USA, Shalom. The next time I'm able to come with another lesson, Shalom, Shalom. The Wath Lava Ball, Shalom.